Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to take a look at this big old bulb from Sansi. Now, they were nice enough to send me this item for free so I can make a video showing it to you. They were also nice enough to give us a promo code. So if after watching the video, you decide that this item is for you, check out the link down below with the promo code information. So, 60 watt LED, and it is huge. Look at that thing. It's a monster. It's 6,000 lumens and equivalent to a 450 watt light bulb. It's 5,000K, so that's like a bright white daylight type bulb. It uses your standard screw in E26 base. It's IP66 waterproof, which is kind of surprising. How many light bulbs do you have that are waterproof? So that's nice. Supposed to have a 50,000 hour lifespan and it comes with a five year warranty. And just so you know, because it's important on a bulb this size, nine and a half inches long, four and a half inches wide. But the important thing is how it lights up, how bright is it, how does it look, all those things. I'm going to put it in a outside light that is above my garage. And we're going to compare the current CFL bulb, which is a 50 watt bulb, to this big boy that's only 10 watts more. We'll see how it goes. So let's check that out. So this is the 50 watt CFL bulb. Give you kind of a general idea how much it lights up. Porch lights is the only other thing on. Now let's hook up this Sansy. See what we got. You know, when I saw the size of this light bulb, I was a little worried. And then when I got a little closer up here on the ladder, I was a little more worried. And now that I got that CFL out and this LED in, I'm a bit more worried because that sucker just don't fit. That's huge. Definitely. Pay attention to, to, to the uh, dimensions before purchasing. <laughs> hey, this is the only lighting option I have for it. So we're going to leave it in, at least for tonight. Let this thing kick on when it gets dark and we'll see the difference. It won't be a great representation. But, you know, you got to dance with the girl you brought. And big old Bertha just don't fit. <laughs> Let's see how bright this thing gets. Look at that. That's pretty bright. You see beams of light just shooting off that thing. And really, the other light had the benefit of those little reflecting shields shooting out more light this way. And this thing, it's too big. It blocks the whole thing. Half of that bulb is just wasted, shining into the back of the light. You know, that thing would be brighter if you had like a, a light that was hanging down with a shade over the top of it and it was just BAM! It'd be crazy bright then. And look how bright it is out here. <laughs> and look at the ground. If I just turned this video on you'd think it was daylight out. Just shining down on me. Craziness. Man, look at that. Very cool light. You know, if it's something you're thinking about getting, you definitely got to make sure it fits in your enclosure or whatever light you have. It's probably better in something that is open because I don't know how hot that thing's going to get as bright as it is. Heat would be able to, you know, dissipate better if it was open. But it is waterproof. So like I said, if you just hit something with maybe a shade over the top, 
That would work out really well for this light. Alright guys, that's it. There's a link down below if you are interested. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a like. Subscribe for a nice subscriber. I'll see you guys next time.